everybody, it's Kristen. So it is Monday morning today, and um, I had a wonderful weekend with my youth board at our um, junior high youth gathering. We had about 300 people there, mostly junior high kids. Um, so it was a tiring weekend, but it was a good, a good weekend. Um, secondly, my hair is red. Um, on Friday, which was, I, I know I guess told you guys, and thank you all for the, for the happy birthday wishes. That was very sweet of you. Um, on, on, on my birthday on Friday, I went to, I was headed towards the youth gathering and I was, spent the day in one of the larger cities that I like to go and, and shop in and stuff. And I went, um, to get my hair colored, I, just to cover my grays. And he was like, hmm, let's try red. So he cut, he trimmed my hair just a little too short for me. So I'm going to be growing <laughs> out a little bit. You guys probably can't tell the difference, but I don't know if you can tell in the back. It's it's just, it's shorter than I, it's just a little bit too short, but that's okay. It grows. Um, and he's like, let's try red. I hate it. I don't like it at all. Um, so hopefully, and there's something about red color. I've tried it before that my scalp doesn't like. Um, and it makes it, I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> My scalp doesn't like it. It's like I'm allergic to the red dye or something. I don't really know. Um, so I need to, I'm going to call him and um, leave him a message to tell him that he needs to work on an exit strategy for the red because I would like to go back to my natural, you know, ish brown color covering up the grays. Let's see my hair sticking out. Anyway, so um, I was picking up some, a uh, couple of the girls from my youth board when I was in Hamilton. I had to wait a few hours for them. So I did a little shopping. Um, I had, excuse me, I had my Sephora gift certificate, and I put those away somewhere. No, oh, there they are. I had my Sephora gift certificate, um, or not gift certificate, the VIB happy birthday thing. Last year you got, um, I think the lotion, no, the shower gel stuff from, the birthday cake one from Philosophy. This year it was um, the fresh sugar. I apologize in advance for my nails. I have not had time to redo them. I can't believe I have to go in public like this, but it is what it is. So anyway, it came with just the normal fresh sugar, and I love these because of the twist off, and I've talked about these before, but so that's just the clear one. Then it comes with the one that has a little um, rose tint to it. So yeah, that was a nice little birthday gift, I think. I mean, for the amount of money that I dropped there in here. <laughs> Okay, so while I was there, on, on the way I had um, tweeted, I think it's Josh McCullier, I don't know, um, Lisa had had made a connection with him. He sells Hourglass products, or he reps Hourglass products in Sephora's, I believe. Anyway, I asked him what his two favorite products were, and he, or, I, that's not true. I asked him what his favorite products were, and he gave me two of them. He said the Lash Lacquer, which is that thing where you paint on your lashes, and that just looks weird to me. I, I can't get into that. And then the primer, and I would also heard Lisa um, rave about the primer, so I picked up the Hourglass primer. Oh, and for the record, um, my no-buy was lifted for my birthday um so I, I didn't go completely crazy but i did buy some things that i had kind of been wanting but not all of the things i wanted so i still have some things on my list but i did also have a bliss hydrating mask thing that i didn't like at all that i returned to sephora and that i think in and of itself was like 60 dollars. so um i didn't i didn't spend a ton there the other thing i had picked up and i'll talk about this probably in my favorites but the lifted eye primer by Tarte. I had the little one, I'm, I've been using the little one from the True Blood palette, and I think this might finally be the primer that doesn't make my eyelids go wacko. Um, and then the other thing that I picked up there was just a sample. I really wanted to try the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Everybody's talked about that. You guys know how I am about my foundations. I, I love one, but there must be a better one. <laughs> so anyway, I picked that up in shade 115. It's a really large sample, which is really nice. So I will let you guys know what I think about that. I'm also actually I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something that I got. Well, I'll save that for last. I also okay. So then I went down to the Chanel counter. Now at Christmas time, um, or actually I think it started in October. But at Macy's, if you bought this little sticker for your card, um, that was thanks for sharing. It was a donation to a charity. I don't remember which charity. But then 10% of all of what you purchased through the end of the year, I believe. Um, you would get back in a gift card and I got that in the mail the other day and I was very excited 
because I went properly to the to the Chanel counter, and I, I, I purchased this blush for um, somebody this year, and I just really wanted it <laughs> for myself. So um, I went and picked up the Chanel blush. It's Blush Horizon to Chanel. It's so pretty. I haven't used it yet because it looks so pretty. I don't want to unpretty it. But I'm ex I am excited to use that. And then I only bought one other thing at the Chanel counter. I asked the gal about like what powder they had that would add a little color. I love the Chanel loose powder, the translucent loose powder in 20 Claire. But I wanted a powder that when I use a foundation that I don't feel gives me as much coverage as I like, um, would kind of set it and give me a little bit of coverage as well. So she suggested the Double Perfection Natural Matte Powder Makeup. And mine is in Soft Beige. So I'm excited to give that a shot and then I went over to the matte counter and I checked out the new collections and I looked at the tender tones. I've never had a tender tone and everybody raves about those and I just, I don't know, I just, it wasn't for me. Oh, by the way, she gave me some three little samples. She gave me a little toner, a mousse foaming cleanser or foaming mousse, mousse, bleh, mousse cleanser and then an eye makeup remover which I thought was nice, throw those in. Okay, so I didn't like any of the collections at, at MAC, but I had been looking at the Pro Longwear um, eyeshadows for a really long time. So I decided I would just go ahead and bite the bullet and get them. One of the ones I wanted to get was one that Tiffany D talks about as using as a highlight. Oh, which reminds me, I forgot a highlight today. Um, and this is in Carefree. Very pretty. a nice little highlight it's a little bit less of a it's, it's warm but not quite as gold as like albatross from mac and then the next one i got i love this i think this is kind of like patina i was gonna i was gonna look at that and and see i could be wrong i'm probably am <laughs> and this is sweet satisfaction i just love this color I, I, I don't know. I have something with like goldy browns. I just can't get enough. Um, and then I picked up one in One to Watch. And that's just a, a nice blending color, a warm blending color. And then the last one I picked up is Lilo. Let's go this way. We'll go the long way. So I'm excited to give those a shot. I really do like this. Not excited about the depotting that's going to happen soon, but and then when I was there, I had gone just after I colored my hair, so I had used my normal um, what I've been using lately, the eyebrow pencil and fling, um, and I think I had on the Truth palette on my eyes, and so the gal says to me, she goes, Ah, uh, you know, do you mind if I just warm up your brows a little? I'm like, yeah, whatever. I just got my hair colored. Da, da, da. So she suggested that I use, and this is actually a color I didn't have in my collection, Saddle. Looks like that. So I've been using that for my brows. And I mean, she was right when she put it on. I, I could tell exactly what she was talking about. I didn't think about it at the time. I was too busy hating my hair. Um, and then, I said, oh, and then that, I own that already, but she had thrown, not, well, she put antiqued on, on over top the Truth palette and the kind of in the crease just to warm up. It looked really nice. Okay, and then I picked up two lipsticks um, that had been on my list. This one is Blankety. I'm pretty sure that I had this on my list from a multitude of people, but most recently from Miss um, Hannah G. It's really pretty. But again, I'm sure you guys have all seen this a million times. And that is an Amplified. And then this is also an Amplified, and this is in Craving, and I'm pretty sure that it was Emily Noel 83 that has me had had me having this on my wish list for a really long time. And I have a few other ones on my wish list that I'll be able to pick up because I'm going to be able to, when I depot those, back to MAC. This is a really just perfect raspberry kind of color. 
I'll wear that in a video sometime so you guys can see that. Um, okay, so then, oops. Um, I also got a package from my friend Tina in Ireland. With, she said it was just the most beautiful little girl on a card, and a really nice card. And she sent me this Collection 2000s Glam Metallics Colored Liquid Liner. And she had sent me a gosh palette a while back. And she actually mentioned when we were um, chatting on Yahoo the other day that this would look really pretty with that, and she's so right. So this is what it looks like. And this is the palette she sent me. See how nice that'll look? Mm -hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. And then um, she sent me a coal liner from the Constant Carol UK line, or CC UK. And it's in teal. And it's a really pretty, like a peacocky kind of teal color. like that <clears throat> excuse me guys sorry and then she had sent me the black Avon super shock eyeliner that and I love she sent me this really pretty silver one it's a really bright silver and I think you could use this you know as a liner obviously but as a as a base would be really pretty as well and then she sent me an Avon super shock mascara which I've seen lots of people use so I'm excited to give that a try and then she sent me a lip cream by Bourgeois in Brune. Looks like that. It's really pretty. Kind of reminds me of that P2 lip cream, only a little glossier. Okay, so thank you very much, Gina. That was very sweet of you. Um, and then I have one other thing I want to grab. Okay, um, another friend of mine here on YouTube um, had asked me, she said she had a couple extra of the Sigma cases like this. Um, and so she asked me if um, I was interested in one of them. And I said, absolutely, because they're so handy. I mean, I'm totally going to revamp, I think, my brushes now that I have these. So she sent me just the, not the, not the brushes, just the case. Uh, and I was really excited. And actually, I used it this weekend when I went away for travel for some extra brushes. Because a lot of the times the girls um, that are on my youth board want me to do their makeup. And I actually didn't get a chance this weekend because it was so crazy busy. Um, but I had brushes with me just in case. But she also stuck in there. She knew I was looking for travel brushes. She sent me um, this, and I don't know what the name of this collection is, but it's one with the red handles. And so it has the same little cups, just a little bit smaller. And um, I've been look she knows I've been looking for travel brushes for a while. And so she sent me these brushes in here. And so I was really, really excited, um, really touched, and um, very, very thankful. And it was perfect um, for the... For, for going away for the weekend and I will be getting a whole lot of use out of those so that was really exciting then on the way back from um, the gathering there's an outlet mall <laughs> so I was forced to stop um, and I just want to show you guys the couple of things I bought there's a coach outlet there and so I went in and I have a the wallet that I have the coach wallet that I have is brown um, to go with the brown purse, but I also have a coach purse that um, has black in it. It has the pattern, but it's the black pattern. So I wanted to get a black wallet because I'm kind of anal you know, like that. Um, so I picked up a, this black wallet, and I really like this kind of patent look to the metal part. Um, and I like the clips, just something different. That my The one that I have is pretty boring and basic. And it just, you know, it's a wallet. It's got a little zipper on the back. And I think it was on sale for $60, something like that, um, which is very good because I think I paid more than that for my brown one. And then um, I looked at all the purses, and I don't, I mean, I need another purse like I need a hole in my head, but um, I don't have any kind of purses that kind of go across your, sh across your body and just stay on you that I don't have to hold on my arm or over my shoulder, shoulder or whatever. So I picked up this purse. It's a real flat purse, just perfect for that sort of thing when you're going to be you know, walking around somewhere all day and you want to have your purse but you don't want to carry it and blah, 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 blah. So, 
I picked that up and this um, it was like $159.99 but it was 50% off of that and then another like 20% off of that or something so it was very reasonable I thought it has a nice pocket on the outside right there and then on the inside it has the, the zipper pocket there and then it has the two pockets there so I'm very excited about that I know that's not makeup related, but I just thought I'd share anyway. So, okay, and with that, I think, oh, one other thing. I was gonna mention this when I talked about my hair, but I did, he suggested, that my stylist suggested that I try the Pureology line um, to help keep the color in my hair. And I should have, you know, I should be buying the cheapest crap that'll wash the color out of my hair. That's how much I don't like it. But anyway, um, so I bought the shampoo and conditioner from the Pureology. This is the Pure Volume one. Um, and you, you know, they tell you this if you ever go and they suggest this line too, because it is pretty pricey. I think it's thirty dollars maybe for this. I didn't look at what it was at Ulta. I just bought it at my salon, but because um, I know they sell this at Ulta, you seriously have the shampoo have to use the teeniest, tiniest little amount. It's crazy, um, and it and it it's very concentrated. So keep that in mind if somebody ever suggests this, you want to give it a shot, and it does smell nice. So okay. With that, I will let you guys go. I hope that you um, are having a very good week. I'll probably upload this later in the week after Topic Tuesday. Um, and yeah, so I will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.